calm after an emotional afternoon outside of Jefferson High School. That school went on lockdown after a student called San Antonio police to report a fight and a possible weapon on campus. Parents outside anxiously waiting to reunite with their children. The night team's Lee Waldman breaks down what we know about what unfolded there today. Confusion. It was just crazy. Like, I don't know what happened. I'm confused. Everybody's out here. Everybody's scared. Fear. I couldn't get a hold of him. And if it was an active shooter, what if he was one that got shot? And I wouldn't have known. And mayhem outside of Jefferson High School today after false reports of a shooting. No evidence whatsoever that anybody, there was actually yeah, a shooting. There was ever a shooting. Ever. According to SAPD, a call came in around 1 p.m. for a shooting in progress. Officers cleared the campus and found no evidence of an active threat or shooting at the school. They worked to clear every classroom and hallway. During that time, parents outside became distressed while they waited for their children to be released. That was the outcome that you saw out here, is parents being impatient, not going through the entire process that we have in place for that reunification. SAISD Police Chief Johnny Reyes and Superintendent Jaime Aquino said the district followed their policies and procedures exactly when it came to locking down the school. All students and staff were completely safe. I know we're living in very difficult time, but you need to trust us that we have all the protocols in place to ensure the safety of all children and all staff. Aquino says there does need to be more training done outside of the school so parents and families know what's expected of them. We have, need to have tighter communication with parents before this happening. Today, parents got a phone call and an email from the school about what was happening inside. An alert was also put out on the district's website. In the future, the district says they'll send out a text message as well. At Jefferson High School, Lee Waldman, KSAT 12 News.